cruel mother abandoned a sick baby, but just watch what happens next, it's a miracle. This story of faith, love, and determination will restore your belief in miracles. The autumn rain fell mercilessly on the tin roof of Mission Hospital Assam, its rhythmic pattern almost drowning out the faint cries coming from the nursery. Inside, a nurse stood frozen, staring at a note she just discovered beside a newborn's crib. The baby boy had been fighting for his life just hours ago. Her hands trembled as she held a hastily scribbled note. I cannot bear to watch him suffer. Please forgive me. The words, written in shaky handwriting, seemed to carry the weight of a mother's impossible choice and unbearable pain. Outside, the monsoon winds whipped through the mango trees that lined the hospital grounds, their leaves dancing in the stormy darkness. The baby, born with severe deformities, had been cruelly left behind by his mother, abandoned to face whatever fate awaited him. The hospital staff had witnessed many heartbreaking scenes before in this remote corner of India, where poverty and superstition often collided with medical realities. But this one was different. This child, with his fused legs and fingers and missing eyelids, had already survived against impossible odds. In the dim light of the nursery, the steady beeping of monitors provided a counterpoint to the rain's rhythm, marking each precious moment of his survival. His father walked away the second he saw him, and if we send him back to the village, they'll poison him, a local aide whispered, her voice breaking. They believe he's cursed. Her words hung heavy in the humid air, a stark reminder of the cultural beliefs that sometimes turn desperate families against their own children. The other nurses nodded solemnly, having seen similar tragedies unfold in surrounding villages. One elderly nurse crossed herself, muttering prayers in Assamese her weathered hands adjusting the baby's blanket with tender care. The baby's cries grew weaker as the night deepened, each breath a testament to his will to live. The medical staff worked tirelessly to keep him comfortable, taking turns to monitor his vital signs and ensure he was fed through a specially designed tube. According to their medical expertise, they knew he might not survive more than a few days, perhaps two months at most. The complexity of his condition, fused legs, missing eyelids, cleft palate, and other internal complications presented challenges that their modest facility wasn't equipped to handle. Yet something about this child's fighting spirit touched them all deeply. Six months earlier, Jessica Cooksey, a compassionate nurse from Jacksonville, had married Raja Palaraj, a psychiatrist from India. Their love story was itself a testament to faith and destiny. They had met during one of Jessica's medical missions to India, where their shared passion for serving others had blossomed into deep love. Their courtship had been anything but conventional. Long-distance calls across continents, brief meetings during medical conferences, and countless emails sharing their hopes and dreams for serving the underserved. Their wedding had been a joyous celebration of two cultures coming together. Jessica's family had flown in from Florida, bringing with them the warmth of Southern hospitality, while Raja's extended family had welcomed them with traditional Indian customs. The ceremony held in a small chapel in Assam had combined Christian hymns with Hindu traditions, creating a beautiful tapestry of faith and love. That September morning in 2011 started like any other in the bustling hospital. Jessica had been organizing medical supplies in the storage room, preparing for the day's clinics, when Raja's urgent text message lit up her phone. You need to see this baby, the message read. Something in those simple words compelled Jessica to rush to the pediatric ward, her heart racing with an inexplicable sense of anticipation. The morning sun had just begun to filter through the windows, casting long shadows across the hospital corridors as she made her way to the nursery. The sight that greeted her would have made many turn away. A tiny infant, born with Bartsoka's Papa syndrome, one of the rarest and most severe birth defects known to medicine. The condition affected nearly every aspect of the baby's physical development, from his facial features to his limbs. But where others saw hopelessness, Jessica and Raja saw something entirely different. They saw a precious life, created in God's image, deserving of love and care. The morning light seemed to soften around the baby's crib, creating a gentle halo that touched Jessica's heart in a way she couldn't explain. In that moment, standing beside the crib, Jessica felt a profound connection to the infant. She gently touched his tiny hand. Raja stood beside her, his medical training telling him one story about the baby's prospects, but his heart telling him another. They exchanged a look that contained volumes of understanding, 
They both knew what they had to do. It was a moment of silent communication between husband and wife, a decision made not just with their minds but with their hearts. Without hesitation, they named him Adam, a name that spoke of new beginnings and hope. The process of adoption began immediately, though it would prove to be a complex journey through India's legal system. Their decision sparked a chain of events that would touch hearts worldwide and challenge medical expectations about what was possible. The paperwork alone was daunting. Countless forms to fill out, legal hurdles to overcome, and cultural barriers to navigate. Through Jessica's network of family and friends back in the United States, they connected with specialists at UNC hospitals in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The medical community was stunned. Most babies with Adam's condition didn't survive past birth. One doctor called him a one-in-a-billion kid, not just because of his rare condition, but because of his remarkable will to live. The initial consultations were conducted via video calls, with doctors on both continents collaborating to develop a treatment plan that might give Adam a chance at life. The couple's love for Adam inspired an unprecedented outpouring of support. When their story appeared in the Times Union, it resonated with readers around the globe. Within days, people from different countries, cultures, and faiths donated over $118,000 for Adam's medical care. Each donation came with messages of hope and encouragement, proving that Adam's story had touched something universal in the human spirit. Letters poured in from around the world, from mothers who lost children, from families dealing with similar challenges, from people who simply wanted to be part of this miracle of love. The surgeries began, painstaking procedures that would require all the skill and dedication of multiple medical teams. They worked to separate his gastrointestinal tract from his urinary tract, a complex operation that would give him a chance at a more normal life. The repair of his cleft palate followed, along with the delicate process of creating new eyelids to protect his eyes. The amputation of his fused legs, while difficult, was necessary to give him the possibility of future mobility with prosthetics. Each surgery was a testament to both medical advancement and human determination. As months turned into years, Adam defied every prediction. His resilience amazed the doctors, and his joy touched everyone who met him. The family grew with the addition of two more sons, Elliot and Rohan, who adored their big brother. Far from seeing Adam as different, they treated him as any brother would, sometimes gentle, sometimes mischievous, but always with pure love. Their bond shone through in small gestures. Elliot would bring his favorite blanket to share with Adam during naps, while Rohan would babble him happily, stacking blocks beside him. They had a language of their own, one that needed no words, only laughter and love. The family's move to Philadelphia marked a new chapter in their journey. Raja pursued seminary studies, feeling called to deepen his understanding of faith while continuing his medical work. Adam started preschool, where his infectious laugh and determined spirit made him a favorite among teachers and students alike. Despite his physical challenges, Adam's spirit remained uncontainable. His first day of school had been a mixture of anxiety and triumph. Anxiety for his parents, triumph for Adam himself, who wheeled into his classroom with confidence and curiosity. The true miracle wasn't just in Adam's survival, it was in how he lived each day to its fullest. This child, once abandoned and given days to live, became a source of joy and inspiration to everyone he met. He refused to be limited by his disabilities, surprising his family and therapists by finding his own ways to accomplish tasks. When he managed to climb stairs on his own for the first time, using a combination of scooting and pulling himself up, his triumph brought tears to his parents' eyes. His determination was matched only by his creativity in overcoming obstacles. Adam's determination showed most clearly when he was fitted with his first prosthetic feet. The prosthesist had warned that it might take months for him to adjust, but Adam approached walking with the same determination he brought to everything else. Within weeks, he was taking his first tentative steps, his face beaming with pride and achievement. The moment he took his first independent steps across the living room, the whole family erupted in cheers and tears of joy. It was a moment that symbolized everything Adam stood for – courage, persistence, and the triumph of spirit over circumstance. Adam's resourcefulness and determination continued to amaze his family in unexpected ways. One crisp November afternoon, Jessica stood at the kitchen counter, chopping vegetables for dinner while humming softly to herself. The sound of Adam's toy cars rooming across the living room floor had been a steady companion for the past hour. 
but now she realized with a start, the house was completely silent. Too silent. Adam? She called out, wiping her hands on her apron. No response. The quiet seemed to pulse against her eardrums. Sweetheart, where are you? Her voice carried a slight tremor now. The living room was empty, toys scattered across the floor like abandoned breadcrumbs, but no Adam. Her heart began to race as she scanned the room, checking behind the couch and under the coffee table where he sometimes liked to hide. A soft thump from upstairs made her freeze. It was impossible. She definitely left Adam downstairs. The safety gate at the bottom of the stairs was still latched, but another thump, followed by what sounded like shuffling. Jessica took the stairs two at a time, her mind racing through possibilities, each more worrying than the last. She nearly stumbled when she reached the second floor landing, steadying herself against the wall as she caught sight of something that made her breath catch in her throat. There, illuminated by streams of late afternoon sunlight filtering through the bedroom window, was Adam. He sat triumphantly in the middle of the room, surrounded by the toys he'd apparently brought up with him, one determined handful at a time. His face was flushed with effort, his hair slightly damp with sweat, but his eyes sparkled with pure accomplishment. Mama, look! He beamed, holding up his favorite red race car. The pride in his voice was unmistakable. As Jessica's panic subsided, she noticed the slight marks on his elbows, the telltale signs of his incredible journey. He must have pulled himself up each step, scooting and crawling his way to the top through sheer determination, refusing to let the stairs become a barrier to his independence. In many ways, this moment felt larger than his first steps with prosthetics. This wasn't about adapting to tools they'd given him, but about him finding his own solution, blazing his own trail. Life with Adam was filled with precious moments like this that his family treasured. His mischievous side emerged in countless ways, from stealing frosting off his father's birthday cake when no one was looking, to late-night adventures with his brother Elliot, who would sneak into Adam's room to share stories and giggles. He developed a love for Bollywood videos, often sitting contentedly for hours watching the colorful dances and music. His peaceful expression while perched on the kitchen counter during his mother's tea-making ritual became a daily reminder of life's simple joys. These ordinary moments became extraordinary through the lens of Adam's journey. The impact of Adam's life extended far beyond his family. His story inspired medical professionals to reconsider what was possible in treating severe birth defects. It challenged communities to examine their prejudices about disability and difference. Most importantly, it showed that love could transcend physical limitations and medical predictions. Doctors who'd initially given him days to live now used his case as an example of why medical statistics should never be the only factor in determining a child's fate. For four remarkable years, Adam's story was more than a medical miracle. It was a testament to the transformative power of love. He showed the world that life's value isn't measured in its length, but in its depth of meaning. When pneumonia finally claimed his life in June 2016, Adam had already achieved what seemed impossible. He changed countless lives and hearts. His final days were peaceful, surrounded by the family who'd chosen him and the love that had given him life. Jessica's final Facebook post captured the essence of Adam's journey. Our little bird met his maker and sustainer. There was incredible peace that enveloped his fragile, swollen body. He'll be missed by so many. It's indescribable to explain this ache. Yet to imagine his body restored and to imagine him surrounded by glory and welcomed by his father, it's a pretty good balm to our weary souls. The post was shared thousands of times, touching hearts around the world and bringing comfort to other families facing similar journeys. The foundation of Adam's legacy began to take shape even before his passing. Medical students who encountered his case during their rotations spoke of how it changed their perspective on patient care. One resident wrote in his journal, Adam taught me that medicine isn't just about survival statistics or surgical procedures. It's about seeing the humanity in every patient, about recognizing that each life is value beyond what we can measure in medical terms. His influence reached beyond the medical community, touching artists who created works inspired by his story, writers who shared his journey, and countless families who found hope in his example. The miracle wasn't just that Adam survived far beyond his predicted days, it was that through one couple's unconditional love, an abandoned baby transformed into a beloved son, brother, and inspiration to thousands. 
His story continues to remind us that sometimes the greatest miracles aren't in the length of days we're given, but in how those days are filled with love. In his short life, Adam had accomplished what many might not achieve in decades. He'd shown the world the true meaning of courage, love, and dignity. Adam's memorial service at Lakewood United Methodist Church in Jacksonville gathered not just family but a community, forever changed by a little boy who proved that love sees beyond physical differences, beyond medical predictions, and beyond fear. The church overflowed with people whose lives had been touched by Adam's story. Medical professionals who treated him, including during the 17 surgeries he'd gone through, families of other children with disabilities who'd found hope in his journey, and countless others who'd followed his story from afar. The service was a celebration of life, filled with music, laughter, and tears, much like Adam's life itself. What would you do if you were in Jessica and Raja's position that morning in the hospital? Would you have followed your heart like they did? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for listening to this inspiring story about hope, courage, and the miracle of choosing love.